Leroy. I feel like I played this guy on NA before. I'll never tell. Unstable Ghoul or Armor Smith? I think Unstable Ghoul is better because it. If his curve is muster, this stops muster. Armor Smith doesn't do anything against muster. So now he's forced to either do like Cog Hammer or play a secrets play secrets to buff up the Secret Keeper, which he probably did Mulligan for. I need to find the patron though. I have inner rage, so I could play patron still before he plays Mysterious Challenger. If I don't find it though, what's the backup plan? I probably do have to hit. Do have to use the whirlwind effect here? Does he have avenge? If he has Avenge, then I want to use Whirlwind first. I don't know. Ideally, I can Battle Rage. I'd like to just hit and then Battle Rage. Oh, good. It's Redemption. Nice. Why would you play Redemption there? Still no sign of patrons, though. So nothing we can do about him playing Mysterious Challenger before we can make patrons. We have Execute though. We have Execute for the um, Mysterious Challenger. And we have Battle Rage. No, no, your business. So we can Whirlwind first. If we Whirlwind first, it, make, it guarantees that the um, Avenge falls on Mysterious Challenger. Uh, there's no redemption anymore. Should still be a get down though. And then there's a repentance, so let's trigger the repentance with this. Alright, got him. Yes, idea zoo per curve out perfectly. Yeah, I know, I know that's idea zoo, but you don't always get the perfect answer for your curve. Growth app is fine. We just play emperor, and that's competitive spirit. So we need to... we should get rid of the dude.
Even if it goes face with everything and puts rag, that's too off lethal. Twelve cards left. One one. Why why? <laughs> why make the dude first? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Why would you make the dude first? Play the cog hammer first. Rank 10 plays. There's a charge, that's good. We don't need to have double enrage. We only need one enrage to go with the worgen. That's already enough. Because it's already 22 damage with this this amount. Plus we have this. Worgen. Well, executes good. Take nine. Make bad plays to give Lock false hope, but next level strategy. You don't think I can win this game? Feels bad, man. I think I'm gonna keep the juggler alive. Because the juggler is kind of a liability. If he plays anything before he trades juggler in, he could he could juggle onto the patron. This guy's playing so badly, why? The ordering. Okay, good. He got punished there. He got punished for his bad ordering. Consecration? Oh, maybe he was trying to do that, because he has Consecration. Okay. So he was trying to hit... Juggle the patrons. Yuggle, yuggle, yuggle. Deck checker still being butt. Oh, yeah. Yep, it's still being butt. That's alright, you guys already know the deck, right? You guys even really need deck tracker? Everyone's seen this deck for so long. I'll just turn it off for now. <laughs> What's a Worgen lock? I don't know. The giant thing that hits your face in the end? Uther! Probably can't be greedy to keep Emperor when I'm going first. Because I can't coin it out. Yeah, this is more reasonable besides the Worgen. These two are good. Look at those colors. Yeah, look at those colors. Who Yin design? What's this game lock and how do we get more points? You get more points? You want to get fewer points actually. The goal is always to get fewer points in Hearthstone. Both in Legend and also here, right? You want to get to rank 1. The key to getting more points though is to play 
That's a terrible deck to play. It's probably get down and avenge. That's the uh, only secrets that make sense to play there. This forces him to play e uh, Keeper of Ultimon. Yeah, he doesn't have Keeper of Ultimon. We're in such a good position. If he only has um, Muster or Hero Power, then this game is over. He may play Secret. Don't play Repentance. I oh, swear, if you, if you top deck Repentance there. I just wanted to not screw myself over. If it was Repentance and I played the Patron, then it's, then it's GG there. But we still have two Whirlwind effects, right? So, I think this is okay. We can still make Patrons before he plays Mysterious Challenger. Hey, Star from Us, big guy, 100 viewers. Yeah, thanks, man. Hey, Emeralds. Oh, dang, we got a host coming in. Bradford, come with the host. Good game earlier. I remember playing uh, against your druid with the. Uh, what was it called? Chromagus. Pretty interesting deck. Well played. If you guys haven't checked out Bradford, another streamer, he makes a lot of cool old decks like what we played against earlier, which is like this druid running Chromagus. Pretty interesting list. But yeah, give him a check out, give him a follow. He's the bradiest of brads. Yep. What do you call your... Do you have a name for your viewers? Or any kind of thing that they spam? We love dragon decks. If only Worgen was a dragon. He would be a pretty amazing dragon. Is there any way he lives? We already have 18. I mean, he needs to get down, I guess. But if he doesn't have... Um, Feels good, man. Alright, final boss. For the Golden Warrior. What do you keep writing down? I write down timestamps for the, the games I win. Because usually those are like good examples of... Not, not always, like sometimes they're just... They're just like lucky games, but oftentimes it's because I did something right. <laughs> so usually those are mo the most instructional. I think I'll keep Battle Rage actually. Against Priests, oftentimes I lose if I don't draw 
at least one battle rage, because then I can't cycle fast enough. Lock, add Deathwing into this deck, it synergizes well with Worgen and Patrons. Brad plugs. How long you need to get golden? Depends on how good you are at the, at the deck. You need to get 500 wins to get golden. Radiates. You know, there, there used to be a suggestion where um, we would call my viewers, instead of Loch Ness Monsters, there was a suggestion that they called Blockheads. That didn't actually go through though. But there was a time when you could have been referred to as Blockheads. I'm the same rank as you. I should try to go against yeah with Domo Mage. Oh, Major Domo Mage, yeah. That would counter this deck, I think. Hmm. Alright, please do not pull out Worgen. Please, no Worgen. Should I execute? Oh, Emperor, that's good. That is good. Maybe I should execute this. Just to make it a little bit harder to kill off Emperor. Like he doesn't have enough for Entomb. Some of the Priest decks that are running double Entomb, they don't run double death, they only run one death. So it's possible. It's possible. Yes. The dream. Okay, I think it's actually worthwhile to use one Inner Rage. Is it? Or should I say both? Maybe I should say both still. It's okay, I can use one Inner Rage. Because I'm getting so much value from the Emperor. So now he needs Light Bomb. That should probably be his turn, this light bomb. Or a circle, I guess, yeah. Circle works too. <laughs> Greetings. I'm gonna be on this mofo after the game. He thinks he, he thinks he won because he clears patrons. Think again, sir. You have the best follow notification. Thanks, Ka. Let the pain speak to me. Okay. So we need a slam for card draw. Battle Rage is good. So that means I'm going to hold off on using the Death Spite until I get a good Battle Rage. I mean, I also don't want to. I don't want him to get a lot of card draw from the acolytes yet, unless until I get a lot. Just a car, okay. There is Worgen. I 
Maybe instead, I probably want to save Death Spy to go face, actually. So let's go with... Just using a whirlwind then. Execute. I think I should save the execute. He still has one Death Lord, so probably Execute needs to go to that Death Lord. He draws a shit ton of cards here. Yeah, make sure to save Death Spike because you use one Enraged. Yep. Was number one this last season? No, I wasn't number one last season. What is your opinion on climbing? Play the decks which are OP or common or play your own creations? Play what you enjoy. If you enjoy somebody's deck that they've made and that's OP, go ahead, play it. Greetings. This guy is so getting BM'd when he when he loses. So cocky. So cocky. He thinks this is just a patient deck, I think. Okay. I think I can't avoid um, using the death bite now, though. I think I have to use it. I guess shield block first. There's rampage. Still need to find one more inner rage. So I think I have to go. We'll go face here. We got what we needed. Should I clear off the zombie chow though? So you can't convert it into damage? Alright, let's just assume let's just assume he can't kill us here. He needs like Akanai double flash shield. Because what if he plays Death Lord, then I'm screwed, right? If I use Execute on Zombie Chow or on the Jessicar, and then he plays Death Lord. Maybe he tries to mill me here. He's milling himself, too. Yep. Like I said, what happens if he plays Death Lord? But he didn't heal himself. This greedy bastard. Take that, you smug goddamn priest. When Locke BMs. Dude, he was BMing me, man. He was BMing me. Alright. Final boss. Massive BM 69 out of 10. Alright, here we go. You guys ready? Ready? 500 wins unlocked. Ta da! So sexy. This is still, I think it's still the sexiest uh, golden 
golden one. Prince, Prince Screen. Feels good, man. Feels good. He's becoming a badass. Where's your greetings now? Yeah, where's his greetings now? All right. Uh, with that, it's a nice finish to the stream. We had pretty good, pretty good climb with the OTK Warrior. What do we start here? S13, 14. Sexy tryhard look by 